Guys, what's up? It is Doug, and welcome to the first ever episode of Trigger King Trucking. And, uh, you know, really it's more of a prequel than a first episode because I actually don't have the truck uh, built to show you. You can see back here, I've got a Tamiya Globe Liner with all of the fixings here. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. Before I do, though, a big shout out to Bob at Hobby Concepts. Hobby Concepts is the YouTube channel and his online hobby shop. Uh, you can check out the link below here. I'll put it there. Um, as I've been getting into the semi trucks or wanting to get into the semi trucks, you know, I'm a longtime hobbyist and it's still intimidating uh, trying to get into the, where, the, you know, the world of the 114 scale semi trucks because there's just so much. They're expensive. I mean, the cost is there definitely. Um, there's just a lot of reasons why, you know, it can be tricky for a newbie to get into it. His YouTube channel is excellent and kind of has given me the confidence really to, to decide I really wanted to do this. And he actually talked on the phone with me as well to uh, discuss some things and um, I wound up purchasing this package from him in his hobby shop. I'll put the link below. Uh, big shout out to Bob at Hobby Concepts. If you have any interest in RC semi trucking, check him out. Really, really informative. All right, so why? Uh, you know, I have wanted to do this forever. I've been lusting after the RC semi trucks really ever since I was in, I wanna say middle school, looking in Tower Hobbies magazines. I would always see of course, the Globe Liner, which I've got right here, the big cab over semi, but also the King Hauler. There's a bunch of them now, uh, whether it's American trucks or like Euro trucks, but there's a huge scene around it in 114 scale equipment. And I, I just, I wanted to do it. And so what really kind of, uh, you know, got my, the fire lit, I guess, is over the last couple of years, I've really gotten to the Snow Runner video game, which is an off-road trucking simulator. And I say simulator, there's some fanciful stuff, but you can call it a simulator really. In Snow Runner, you're in a lot of extreme environments. Um, you know, like Russia, Alaska, uh, doing a lot of heavy trucking, hauling some really crazy loads, frankly, whether it's oil rig stuff or logging. Uh, that's important here in just a minute we'll talk about, but really, really fun. I love the game. I have sang hundreds of hours into it. And uh, anyways, I wanted to do the RC version of it, or at least as close as I can get. Um, I'm not going to be dunking a truck, you know, in the deep mud or anything like that, but I did want to do uh, a truck for some off-road logging and other heavy hauling. That's where the Globe Liner comes in here. So my idea, I'm gonna build this truck. Uh, I'm gonna lock the diffs, the, uh, the rear diffs. It's a six by four truck. So it's actually the four wheel drive in the back here on the tractor. The front wheel drives are just steer axles. And um, you know, I want, I'm gonna lock the diffs, gonna get a logging trailer for it here. And uh, who knows where this is gonna take me. Um, but I'm really looking forward to doing this and building one of these. This is a bucket list build. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, how I'm going to like it, but I just, I really wanted to do it. Why the Globe Liner? It has, uh, well, it's a cab over first off. I love vintage cab over trucks, and I, I just think they look beautiful. And um, the other thing with it too, this one has a shorter wheelbase than some of the other Tamiya uh, American style trucks. And so uh, for that, I think it, I'm hoping it'll be a little more maneuverable. And I'm talking to some experienced hobbyists who, you know, who are really into this. They suggested for this build that's what i wanted to do now i don't want a truck that i can do any crazy you know crawling or anything you know like that with i'm not under any uh, uh any uh, you know illusion that this truck's going to be for super heavy off-roading but i'm hoping with lock diffs it's going to be a lot of fun so we're almost to the unboxing portion of this i just want to show you some of the other stuff i went all in i got the tamaya this is the american truck style the mfc um the multi-function unit that does everything from the lights, the sound, I just had to have it. If you've never seen what one of these semi trucks looks like with sound, you've got to check it out. I mean, they're amazing. And um, I figure shooting video with this out there would just be weird if you don't have the rumble of the diesel, right? I got to have that. So I'm going to be putting this in right away. I went and I got a Spectrum DX6, uh, this stick remote here. You know, it's funny. I've never even outside of toy grade, I've never owned an actual hobby grade stick remote. It's been pistol grip everything ever since, you know, gosh, I've been in this hobby almost 30 years now, and uh, to my knowledge, I've never had one of these. I've used other people's, of course, but I've never actually had one of these before, so it's going to be really interesting in doing that. You need one of these because uh, for ease of using all of the functions that's going to be on this truck, especially, especially with the lights and sound unit. Now, i got a driver figurine here that I'm going to be using. Um, smaller speaker box. This was actually a recommendation uh, that Bob gave me because then... I can use the interior of the truck with the driver figurine with the uh, lights and sound unit that I've got. I have a 55 turn motor. I'm not gonna use the uh, stock 27 to me. A, a lot of the folks say you want the 55 turn. It's a three speed transmission. So um, speed, you've got, you've got all the speed you need. So I'm going the 55 turn motor. I want all that torque because I am gonna be hauling stuff with this. Then I have a couple Spectrum servos here. 
Uh, one of them is going to be for the shifting servo, the other for the steering. I'll talk about that more eventually when the truck is finished. And, um, oh, can't forget this, <laughs> a bearing kit. A lot, a lot of Tamiya stuff just doesn't have bearings yet still. So this one here, I got a bearing kit with it as well. So that's everything. That's a lot. That doesn't even talk about the trailer, which I don't have yet. I figure I'm going to build the truck before I actually get anything with the trailer. So finally, let's unbox this thing and see what's in this monster box. All right, guys, let's see what's in this thing here. I cannot wait to open this. Uh, I cut off the cellophane here a minute ago off camera, but I'm excited to, to, you know, to get into this because you know what my favorite thing about a Tamiya kit? Well, at least the first favorite thing is, oh yeah, there it is. It's that smell. Um, if you guys, a long time hobbyists will know, Tamiya kits just, they smell different. Um, they, they smell like that plastic and rubber. What do we got here, man? We got, oh man, there's a lot. Look at all this chrome. Looks like fuel tanks, uh, some diamond tread. Look at that grill on it. We've got axle housings, more chrome. Looks like this is the back of the cab. We've got some interior here, more chrome. A lot of, that looks like fenders there. Um, this is cool. This is like old school to me here where they have a, uh, well, right here. This is, this is gonna be a little bit of a sloppy video. Oh, here are, the, here are the frame rails. Frame rails are right here. These are black. Um, they come. They come in black. I'm probably going to be painting these red. I think to go with the paint scheme of the truck. The the idea I've got for it. So, but that's pretty cool here. Um, what do we have here? Of course, look at the cab. Ah, oh, I love cab overs, man. I mean, that's like the golden age of American trucking. I think. Um, it's, it looks very cool on this thing. I'm, I'm very excited to do that. Then we've got here at this old, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm very excited if you can't tell. Um, this is like the blister pack. This is like old school to me. Uh, if I remember right, and excuse me, because I built so many kits over the years, I think the old clods might have had this in it. Uh, I forget, but yeah, you got the blister packs. Look at these. We got leaf springs on this thing here. Um, looks all the gear in here. Ooh, exhaust on it. Looks like a muzzle. Um, shock cylinders. There's the ring gear on it. Probably need stuff in here. Let's see. I'm just going to start pulling stuff apart. Oh, yeah. We've got... What is this? Oh, wheels. We've got all the wheels on it here. Uh, hexes. Sorry if you can't see some of this. I know it's a bit crazy. Looks like turn signals and things like that. Okay. Ah, here we go. So, right here. Here are the tires, it looks like. A lot of these. Boy, these are hard. Hard tires. So I can tell you what I'm going to do with the tires because this is going to be an off-road truck. I know I need different tires and uh, I'm most likely going to order some RC four-wheel drive king in the road. I think that's what they're called tires, but uh, I am going to build this truck with the stock wheels and tires first just to do that. And then I'll probably do a comparison um, when doing it off-road uh, with, with these old tires. These are, these are highway style tires. Of course, there's not much tread. I mean, uh, or not much um, depth of tread on it. I'd imagine whenever I get out in the muck with this thing, these are going to turn into almost slicks, especially it's going to be cold when I'm out there. So uh, we'll see. I, you know, I'm, I, it'll be cool to use tire chains. I plan to get some tire chains for some of the running on that. I'd like to do some ice road, scale ice road trucking on some ponds or whatever. So we'll see. But I'm going to use these stock ones that it comes with at first uh, before I put the off-road ones. What do we got here? Um, I love this, guys. I'm so excited. All right. We've got, oh, yeah, here we go. All the bags, we've got all the beds, uh, liquid thread lock. I actually bought, I always have thread lock, but for this build, I actually bought some of this Permatech stuff too, some extra stuff, because I didn't know how much Tamiya would put in. I have heard with the shaker units in these, because the, the, the MFC will actually have the truck vibrate like it's uh, idling or run, you know, actually running, um, that they will shake everything loose if you do not use Loctite. So I always use Loctite in builds, but I'm going to be extra liberal with it. In this one, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all of that. That's that's kind of what's in there. And then we've got, of course, the the uh, box or the uh, not the box. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very rambly here. Um, the old instruction manual here. Yep, there she goes, or there she is. You know, uh, be interesting. I've never built a three-speed transmission. These things use three speeds. And it uh, looks like, yep, looks like building a suspension with U-bolts, leaf springs. I can't wait, guys. This is going to be a friggin' blast. Because um, here's the thing. I, I know this. While these kits look intimidating, all the stuff going on, nothing in the hobby builds like a Tamiya 
Uh, I've built so many kits and there are fantastic kits out there. So don't get me wrong, but nothing builds like a Tamiya. So I'm very excited, even with the MFC unit here, you know, making it a little more difficult. Um, I'm not that intimidated just because I know I'm in good hands with one of these, right? And uh, I know a lot of folks build these trucks who aren't even really hobbyists before they come to the hobby and do the, you know, and this is what they start with because they like the semi truck. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Somewhere in here is the decal sheet. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the decals. I've got my own idea for a paint job, but that's it guys. We've got a mess here. So um, I'm excited to do this. I'm gonna organize my build space. And uh, that's what's inside the big box here of the Globe Liner. All right, guys. Hey, that's it. I am excited to build this thing. Um, I don't think I'm going to be really doing any build videos of it. There are great ones out there already. And uh, it's going to take me enough time to do it. It's going to be tricky to try and film it, um, the actual build. If there's anything that I need to, uh, you know, need that's pertinent to film, I absolutely will. Because I'm getting into this. I'm a newbie to this part of it. And yeah, it's a little intimidating, man. There is a lot going on here. Uh, to try and get one of these going, but I'm very excited. This is going to be kind of my winter project uh, to do this. You know, monster trucks aren't going anywhere. I love my monster trucks. I, a lot of the guys are going to be racing this winter and everything, but um, when this thing is done, I hope to sprinkle in some trucking videos as I go out on the trails, maybe the ice roads, and uh, shoot some scale trucking videos. I'm very excited. I'd love to put one of my monster trucks on the back of this, figure out how to make kind of a, a hauler looking rig and um, we'll see with the paint job on this. I'm probably uh, going to do this up in international colors, like my international Cub 100 pulling tractor that I have. Um, so it's gonna be an off-white, I'm thinking, with uh, some red. I might paint the chassis on this one. I talked about that with the chassis plates because they come black, so I don't know, we'll see. But the uh, next video you're gonna see of this truck is gonna be a truck um, that's finished, at least most likely. We'll see. Uh, probably before I do an actual running, running video, I'll show it just running around after I get it set up and talk about some of the things I learned with the build. So anyways, this was long. This was rambly. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to see some trucking content on here from time to time, trying to, to mix up a little bit more here in between the monster truck races. So uh, we've got some other stuff to talk about and uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, this is going to be a ton of fun. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you soon.